And thank you for staying with us. Well, beginning on March the 1st, the New York City plastic bag ban, the law will actually be taking effect. Now, the ban is actually going to prohibit, I should say, the distribution of plastic carryout bags by designated grocery stores and other retail outlets in New York State. And although representatives of the plastic bag industry and environmentalists say there's some logistical issues in need to be resolved first, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Well, here now to tell us a little bit more about the ban is the executive director of the American Progressive Bag Alliance, Matt Seaholm, and the owner of Key Food Grocery Store, Salvatore M. Bonavita. Thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure. Happy to be here. Good. So uh, I'll start off first, Matt. Walk us to look through a little bit about exactly what is the ban because we're going to experience it, yeah. but everybody may not understand fully what's going on. So give us a little bit of background. I, I wish I could tell you exactly <laughs> what it's going to be. In fact, it was passed last year, and now the Department of Environmental Conservation is still trying to figure out exactly what it's going to look like. Unfortunately, we're, we're less than six weeks away from implementation. So right now, it looks like there will not be any plastic bags allowed. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to use reusable, and they want people to move to paper, but as it's been shown, there's not going to be enough paper bags for everybody to use. Yeah, and so talk to me about how it affects you. You're over at, at, at Key Food, and I want to talk about Key Food, which sure. is a big grocery store, right? Big, yeah. big chain. A lot of people coming through there. What's going to happen? Well, there's going to be a lot of frustration to start with because customers are going to be confused. They're going to show up um, not having brought their own bags. Um, they're going to be expecting to um, get bags there at the store and not realizing that they're going to be charged a five cent fee to purchase a paper bag. That's if I have a paper bag that I can sell them. Mm -hmm. um, and that five cents doesn't go to me. Uh, that goes to New York State and, and to the county. Uh, so I have to collect five cents uh, for the privilege of, of them being able to use uh, an inferior paper bag. Mm. How's it been affecting you so far? Well, for plastic bags, we have to put in our orders um, you know, months in advance so that we have proper supply. Um, so now the ban coming into effect, uh, I can't purchase plastic bags uh, for the, the upcoming ban coming in, in, in March. So I've been weaning down my current supply and trying to look for sources for paper bags. Uh, but that's very, very difficult to do. And paper bags are also more expensive for me to try to find. Mm -hmm. And there's also some discrepancy about the weight of a bag. Yeah, that's right. I mean, there is there is a pathway to success on this. Mm -hmm. I, I think we've seen in a lot of jurisdictions, uh, uh, Suffolk County being one here in New York, that uh, implemented a ban on the traditional thin-gauge, single-use plastic bag, allowed for thicker, reusable bags based on performance to be used, a five-cent fee on that. It worked. It wasn't a huge disruption to consumers that, and, uh, and the small businesses in Suffolk County. And, and there's, like I said, a pathway for the state to follow. We just hope that they will. Mm -hmm. About 45 days and under right now, right? So yeah. how are you letting your customers know, and, and what's been the reaction? What have they said? We've, we've got some signage up in the store. Um, you know, we're, we're in uh, working-class communities, multilingual, uh, so some folks are more aware than, than other folks. Um, you know, generally the reaction is a bit of frustration because they know what's going to happen is on the checkout lines, it's going to take longer to get through those checkout lines. And in my store, it's on average 12 to 13 minutes to get through the checkout lane. That's going to take a whole lot longer now as people, you know, fumble around looking for their reusable bags, the plastic bag that they used last month that they have stuck in the, you know, the kitchen drawer. Um, you know, did they bring it? Didn't they bring it? Should I purchase paper? Should I purchase a shopping bag? Uh, so all that's going to take time um, and extend, you know, uh, the lines, which means customers are going to be a bit more frustrated, and they're going to have to pay for it, whereas before they used to get the bags for free. Yeah. So. And, and we talked to some people with Man on the Street interviews before about this whole situation, and one of the things that came up is that sometimes it's taken for granted the fact that everybody has the money to actually purchase a bag, and what that's going to do for some people economically, and the choice between groceries and bags. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure you've heard. Yeah. Certainly. I mean, uh, you know, oftentimes we hear it's just five cents. Well, if it's just yeah. five cents, it's also not going to, you know, change behavior. So it's mm -hmm. either it's either a punishment or it's not. So at that point, it, it will add up for those people that are looking at 50 cents for a grocery shopping trip, you know, over 10 bags. It, it does add up over the course of m a month, a year. So there's no doubt this is a tax. Right. So where do we see things going from here? <laughs> we're we're going to continue to talk. The uh, There is a public hearing next week up in Albany. Uh, from there, they're going to ultimately decide what the, the regulations look like over the course of the next month. 
that doesn't help too many folks like Sal to know what to buy. Right. But uh, we're going to continue to work with uh, anybody that's that's willing to. Well, yeah, what, do you, what have you been doing, Salvatore? Because I know you talked about you have to kind of like pre-order, and right. now your pre-order so, is kind of... So we're, we're trying to stage for it. We're, we're trying to purchase more of, you know, the... the, the you know, these reusable shopping bags that customers can buy, you know, mm -hmm. at our locations. And something like this would be a dollar right. uh, for them to purchase. And they could reuse this over and over and over. So we're trying to stock up on this. But even this, um, it's it's hard to meet the demand that we expect that, that we're going to see. Uh, because as the, all of New York comes online and everybody's clamoring for, for these bags, there's just not enough supply of even these bags. Mm -hmm. So in the short term, a lot more frustration. Um, my, my costs are going to go up. I was my, customer, ask, yeah. you know, my, uh -huh. my customers are, are, are going to be more upset. I mean, just to give you an indication, paper bag. A paper bag for me is going to cost me anywhere between 13 and 14 cents a bag. Mm -hmm. All right. Right now, my our current bags, our current plastic bags that we use, that people reuse all the time for, for garbage or what have you. So right. my, my current bags cost me about 2 to 3 cents. So I'm going from 2 to 3 cents to 13 cents. Right. And I got to charge my customers five cents. They used to get this for free. Now they're going to have to pay five cents for paper. And good luck if it's raining outside because those bags aren't going to hold up uh, by the time they get home. Wow. And then you become the bad guy. And I become the guy <laughs> holding the bag. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> literally. Hold, yeah, literally. Yeah. Well, Salvatore, thank you for coming and sharing with us. And definitely, Matt, we'll continue to follow this. And we'll get you back. And I uh, want to know you, how things are going so we can continue to follow up. And, uh, Sounds good. Thoughts and prayers with you. Love it. Thank you. All right. Thank Appreciate you very much. All right. Matt and the Salvatore taking a quick break. Listen for more information on the American Progressive Bag Alliance. Now, you can visit bagalliance.org. We are taking a break. When we return, we're going to sit down with the Program Director of Advance and Earn Program. That's coming up on tap, so stay tuned. We'll be right back in a few.